Generation Y. Why is the banks collapsing right here, right now? Because of Generation Y. Yes, the millennials, the young ones, they are spending up large, can't afford what they're earning, and boom, the banks go bust. Silicon Valley Bank, First Republic Bank, who's next? They're all coming. Charles Wadley's dropping. The, 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 the bank sector is in ruin. Finance. Will we see the recession finally arrive? It's been talked about for about a year. Is it about to hit boom, bastic? Or is it just the banks going to zero? Yes, Generation Y is in big trouble. Yes, debt just keeps rising and rising and rising in people under 25. It's just absolutely ridiculous how easy they can buy stuff. They can get $5,000, $10,000 credit cards with a click of a button, a couple, once they get it easy. And in some places, a little harder. But how do these people get these credit cards? It's just craziness. And they buy flash cars, they buy flash clothes, they buy the flash phone, the tablets, the TVs, the jewelry, everything. They're just absolutely buying everything here, Generation Y. And what happens? They keep going until they get caught or can't meet the repayments when the bank comes in and then they go bankrupt. And you get that 10 times, you get that 20 times, 30 times, all the way up to 100. And next minute, the banks collapse when you start looking at millions and millions in debt. When actually it's billions of debt when it comes to credit cards. So what are the banks doing about it? absolutely nothing where is the legislation to drop the price for getting a credit card now some people or well, some banks though they they can really cut the limit but at the end of the day the limit should be a lot lower if you're 18 or so if you haven't got the income at all it should be like a thousand dollars at the most absolutely low it all depends on your income as well but it, se it seems to be, oh, it doesn't matter how much you get paid, we'll just give you a credit card. And then, and then you go to the next bank, and then the next bank. And next month, they got five to ten cards, 5000 there, 5000 there. Next month, they're $50,000 in debt, just like that. And then, what can they do, Generation Y? They're just absolutely yep, getting their flash cars, everything, living the lavish lifestyle, having, having all their drinks going out to flash restaurants, living the life. And some people take that sacrifice. They go, well, let's live life for a year and then might be broke for five, ten years after that. Don't worry, I've had a lavish life. I've traveled the world. I've gone on the flash airplanes. I've done first class. I mean, I've been on a helicopter. I've been to the Amazon. I've been to Paris. I mean, this is all stuff Generation War. But what is that doing to the bank system? Yes, the banks are getting more and more into debt, losing more and more money because they are allowing loans for people that cannot afford them. What should the bank system do about it? They need to find a better reform and make sure that they're kept at how much they can buy, which is all already in place. But they should be, if they spent 5000 this month, they can only spend you know a thousand next month like just something not even that like you know even lower than that like there should be a cap once they get to this limit they can't buy for the next month or two you know but the argument is they'll just get to another credit card bank but if all of them did it then you'll start to see but what the banks currently do is look at it oh i can get those fees i can get that interest it could be like 20 percent plus on the credit card once they start not paying after the first month and then just adds and adds up. So they just look into dollar signs. They're not really caring about the bankruptcy of the people. They're not really caring about the people themselves that buy their credit cards. So Gen Y celebrate their life and next minute they find themselves in big debt. 50 percent and they call bankruptcy. That's what I mean. They don't learn. They call bankruptcy and say in a year's time when they're allowed to get all this stuff. They just re vision the cycle again and be bankrupt again so this is just when the banks need to step up here and live 
improve the standard of the credit card that it's used in the right way if they got a little bit of money don't even give them a credit card okay the credit cards can be good if you use them wisely you can gain points but you, but this is the this is the trick though with points okay say say you, go, you can get cash back from like two percent cash back and mostly it's not nothing great anyway or, or you get flybys you get some points back depending on where you are in the world get some air, air points so um but yeah um what can you do with their money like you need to yeah um what they try to get you to do obviously with the credit card is they'll give you a little bit of cash back and let you get a little bit of money and you think oh yes i'll just spend an extra ten dollars there and i'll spend another ten dollars there on my tv i'll just spend a little bit extra so i get a little bit more cash back but when you spend that ten dollars you're only getting not even one cent you get less than that one cent back in the end of the year that's this is the thing that people are not realizing when they do this stuff and they get more and more into debt and then they start to not be able to pay the car loan payments pay the yeah, they're going to house loans as well i mean this is not that they get house loan on credit card but this is just the stuff that happens out there um for generation y what what do i say to you generation y to get back into the to me invest yes invest generation y invest don't use the credit card invest and you'll get the money you want I know you want to live the lavish lifestyle now, but you get that lavish lifestyle a lot earlier if you start investing right here, right now. You get into dividend stocks. You get into the growth stocks. You get into real estate. Actually make proper money. Um, yeah, you, you get into investing and let your money combine, combine wealth over time. The earlier you start, the better. And kids these days, even babies can get get into investing i suggest put investment into your family's future as well just get going just start straight away and you might have kids here when they're 18 they could have hundred thousand already like i mean just putting a small amount in can really grow and they can be absolutely rich by the time they get to older say if you put enough money in every year so that's what i would say to the generation why that are spending but what is it doing to the banks what are the banks get back to the banks they really need to cut down on this lending out all these credit cards to everyone they really should look at going better off into the future i, I really you yeah, we're going to see a couple more banks absolutely collapse completely will first republic go completely they have been saved by the u.s bank they let silicon valley bank go but then they're saving the others um so they probably are going to be saved so maybe it's the time to invest into these ones maybe I'm not saying doing not financial advice, but you could get a good risk reward with first financial back at eleven dollars compared to a hundred dollars. Well, it could go to a hundred dollars again, could easily go to zero as well. Not financial advice, but something you can look at as a way you can make money out of the situation. It's probably gonna even drop under ten dollars in the next couple of days. So get on maybe get on buying the first Republic Bank might be an option and then going to debt and it might be worth the risk. Um Anyway, that's me talking a bit about Generation Y and what's happening in the bank sector at the moment. Um, remember to like and subscribe to the channel and, sus and share this video all around the world so more finance people can get to understand around debt and what you should do. Thank you very much and I'll see you at the next video.